So for gene therapy, there was a, a first trial, which was in a single center with a limited number of patients. Um, and of course, as doctors and scientists, we like when we have much more data. And um, two studies were conducted in post-symptomatic patients um, with type 1 to confirm this data on a multicentric and larger data, data set. These two studies are called STRIVE, and one was conducted in the US, STRIVE US, the other one was conducted um, in uh, EU, STRIVE EU. Uh, these are actually two different studies uh, with some difference some differences in the inclusion criteria. And, and to make short a long story, let's say that the patients who were in Strive EU, EU um, were a little bit more severe um, than in Strive um, US. Uh, so both Strive EU and Strive US were presented. What can we take out of that? Uh, Strive US was started before Strive EU, so we have uh, now the complete set of data. Um, and uh, we can see that uh, the data from start, so the initial small studies on, on a limited number of patients are grossly reproduced. But now that we are in a larger number of centers with a larger number of patients, uh, it is uh, a little bit more in phase with the reality, which means that we don't have 100% um, of sitters but it's more likely to be 50% of sitters at one year, which is excellent, right? Which is um, a, a major progress um, in this patient, but it's uh, probably uh, data that are a little bit wow um, than in the start data, which doesn't mean that, that they are um, not confirming the start data. They, they, they are confirming, but of course on a broader populations with a broader uh, level of disability, um, and uh, for some of the patients from Strive US were from Strive EU were already with bulbar issues and respiratory involvement at the time of um, injection. So altogether, Strive US and Strive EU recapitulate um, the data from start, but on broader populations in a multicenter settings and. In these conditions, of course, the uh, results are more balanced um, with a certain um, uh, uh, a percentage of sitters that, that is slightly above 50% at one year, which is, which is um, uh, impressive, of course.